Boom! Hello, pigs. Oh yeah, nice rainy day. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. It's Easter. This will probably be posted the day after Easter. Happy Easter to everyone. Inside the fish building we go, and it's actually dark. Wait, focus. There we go. I don't think I've ever showed the fish building when it's dark. It looks awesome. So obviously we have the chameleon's enclosure, which looks sweet. And right over here is the big pond. And there's a little bit of light that comes through this window that lightens it up. Check it out. The fish look kind of cool. What's up, everyone? So dope. So the water just looks so much different. I like it. It, it looks cool dark. Of course, cichlid pond. We're walking right over. Hello, everyone. I know you all ate already, but that doesn't mean you can't say hello. Over here in the Fly River tank, we have our albino arowana that Griffin got us in his recent video. Get the white light on. There it is. What's up, dude? Oh, yeah. Finally got another one to start growing out. Beautiful fish. I mean, just look at that. I'm excited for that. Of course, our fly river is in the back hiding. Hey, I see your face. It's a little different walking through here when it's dark. Check it over here. We have the member wall, which looks amazing. Obviously, our beautiful flower horn, Megamine. What's up, Megamine? And the members are all on this wall. If you want to be on this wall, make sure to go check out the link in the description down below. Not only will you be on this wall, but you'll also get exclusive content and live streams. But other than that, as you can see, our turtles are hiding back up. There they go. Place is looking uh, quite different. Lots of stuff going on in here. I got a package. And this package is the mini saltwater aquarium. I mean, you can make it salt or fresh. I've done videos like this in the past, but nothing like this. This has a literal sump in it. A company hit me up on Instagram and they said, we're going to send you one of our tanks. We want you to set it up. And I said, Bet. Look at the colors on those chalk bass right there. See them? Super beautiful fish. They're coming out. Off this glass here, I just scrubbed the algae and they're all coming out and eating. Uh, and then we have the Mandarin Gobi we just got recently, but I gotta find that thing. It's got this blue lighting on the tank right now. There's certain times of day the lights change, these lights. There's our coral banded shrimp, of course, our clownfish and all the other specimens. Look at the gem tang right there. Just a beautiful, beautiful tang eating some algae. Where is the mandarin goby? Check out the corals. They are just thriving. You can see them growing down onto the bottom of this rock. And then not only that one, we have this coral up here that is literally grown to just stick along the rock and it's continuing to just keep going this way. These have gotten so much bigger. Our leathers have gotten so much bigger. Look at this. Where the heck is that mandarin goby? Can't find it. Was sitting right there, literally right there yesterday. It's somewhere in here. There he is, right there in the back. We need a lot more fish and a lot more coral coming soon. So I'm super excited. We're going to get to this today, but today's a, also kind of a vlog day. I know a lot of you that watch all the videos love when I do these vlog days, kind of just coming along with me. So let me put this box down real quick. I got to get this thing over to the new shop. If you don't know what I'm talking about, new shop, this tank right here, this one goes, well, it goes inside the new business that I'm starting up here soon. And that is a car business. Now, if you don't know, I love cars as well. Don't worry, I'm not getting too far off topic. We did get a 4,000 square foot building for the car business. Window tints, PPF, ceramic coating. It's just another little venture that I got going on. But we got this tank for the office of that building. So be on the lookout, subscribe down below for this tank to be fully set up with lionfish coming soon. If you don't know what a lionfish is, it's quite the saltwater fish. It's a very, very cool looking fish. But there's a lot to do before I get this tank over to the building. I know, you probably wanna see the building, so let's go take a quick look on where this will be in probably like two or three weeks. This is where that tank's gonna go. Right over there. Check out this office space. Chris. Chris, it's gonna be crazy, bro. Oh, yeah. He's my partner in this little business we got going. Big business. I'll do this quickly, but you walk in right here. Obviously, seating area so you can wait. Car gets tinted, whatever it may be. The back is where it gets fun. It's all getting painted still. Black ceilings, accent wall. That's not my street bike, Dad. I promise you. My dad would kill me if I had that. That's Chris's. <laughs> Out here. It's where the fun stuff's going on. We're gonna walk upstairs. Hector has been here for the last like two weeks. Obviously we're putting some drywall up right now. All this is gonna be epoxy floors. Back into the office where it's a little bit quieter. If you guys are local and you live in Palm Beach County and you got a car that needs window tint, PPF, whatever it may be, when the time comes, I'll let you know when we open up, hopefully in the month of May. This is where you can get it done and I'm a part of it, which is awesome. If you follow me on Snapchat, you have seen me here every single day for the last, Two weeks. This looks sweet. 
Oh, that color, Chris, was perfect, dude. See, if I had a vlog channel, this is more of the stuff I would film. Typically, I don't film this stuff on this channel. It's a lot of it goes on Snapchat, like I said, but I had to show you guys what's going on here because the fish tank is gonna be right there. That's where the tank will be. Lionfish in that tank right there. If you guys wanna see more stuff of this on the channel, let me know, comment down below, smash the like button, and I'll definitely film more of it. Back to the fish building so we can get this tank set up, though. I had to jump in for a quick second with all the fishes. Now, let's get to this little aquarium. P&W Customs, out of Portland, Oregon. So for any specs that you're curious, that is pretty much all the specs you need right there. It's a 50 gallon per hour adjustable return pump. Really cool setup here. Holy stickers. Smash the like button, I'll throw one of these to your house, like, like this from here. Yeah! You have a ton of fun with this tank. Please hit us up if you have any questions along the way. Harley, shout out to Harley. So if you guys find this really cool and interesting, you wanna do it yourself, you obviously know where to get it. It's like Christmas morning. It is actually legit, dude. It's not even as small as I thought. Holy moly, that is awesome. It's like to me a, holy smokes, dude. Dude, there's a lot that goes into this. I feel like I gotta be a scientist to figure this out. Talk about satisfying. Oh, for all my ASMR lovers out there. That is so satisfying. And now we have a clear piece that fits right on top of the aquarium, like that. Got a little overflow in there. I mean, you got, you got everything you can think of. So this is gonna take a little bit of figuring out for me. Give me a little bit, and I'll pick up the camera. That right there is exactly why these fish are literally so active. I used the little thermometer that this tank came with and I put it in the pond to see the temperature. We're over here trying to figure out this tank. It's very unique. Now, the filtration wise, probably gonna need to get some like filter floss or something to get the water really clear. But it comes with all this extra stuff like the auto top off system and all that stuff. It also comes with this little, literally, mini heater. Look at that, mini heater. The tiniest little heater you've ever seen. Look at it compared to my finger. Now, of course, we can make it something like this, right? Of course we can, but I want one of you to make it like that. But at the end of the video, we're giving this to one of you watching. So make sure you're subscribed down below, you smash the like button, and comment why you want this aquarium right here. You could be the winner. Ship it right to your house. For now, let's set this thing up. So we've made it over here closer to an outlet. We're gonna get ready to plug all this in. By the way, this is salt water. It is gonna go up and over that overfill and start filling the bottom one up now. See it overfilling? They say the smaller the saltwater aquarium is, the harder it is to maintain. The bigger it is, the easier. So this right here is about the smallest you can get, and this right here is about, not the biggest, but very large thing you can get right here. This is about 4,000 gallons. That's about a quart. <laughs> All right, filter's going in. Three, two, one. There it goes. So this is gonna get clear very fast. I got a little bit of filter floss, which as you know, the most crazy filtration you can get. Very, for fast, for fast. We're gonna go into our sump and just stuff it in our sump. Ready? Boom. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, that, that is sick. And I want one of you to make the most baller ecosystem out of this and send me a picture on how it comes out. Now this will be clear in probably like five minutes. Just like that, five minutes later, this aquarium is fully clear seriously though as much as i would love to set this up i want to see one of you make something epic out of it all you got to do subscribe down below click the like button and comment why you want this right here it's like a perfect little office aquarium i mean we set everything up other than the escape like all we had to do really was escape this and then of course cycle and get fish that right there is the world's smallest functional saltwater aquarium and i hope you enjoyed we did a lot in today's video i mean we were all over the place from the new car shop to snorkeling in the aquarium to setting up the smallest aquarium and to add to today's video i actually opened up some fan mail from the p.o box addresses in the description down below and we got some really really cool stuff so just quickly here's some of that dad i'm gonna show you first oh man tommy oh Holy Should I look? Oh yeah. Oh what? Where'd you get that from? Dude, that is crazy. They sent it to my PO box. Hey Paul, I've been a big fan since the mini pond days, which we're here. We're here at the old the old days. 
and wanted to send you this for the fish building. Love the videos, keep it up. Cam, at Burnt by Cam. Thank you, Cam, I appreciate that, holy smokes. We just got some really cool stuff from a fan. The Gagliano's Racing Stables, all this stuff. I just had to shout him out because he sent so much. This is super cool, look at all this. My dad's even repping the shirt. He's repping the shirt. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.